New Central Now at this hour begins in southern Nigeria, where the River State House of Assembly has declared the seats of members who recently defected from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressives Congress vacant. The affected lawmakers were not present at the sitting where their seats were declared vacant. The four-member assembly, led by factional speaker Edison Ihe, loyal to the state governor on Wednesday, said the decision to declare the seats vacant was in line with Section 109, Subsection 1G, and 2 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. The speaker, who read the names of the lawmakers affected, called on the Independent National Electoral Commission to conduct fresh elections within the time frame provided by law to fill the positions. Clear a seat of 25 affected members of the Ambassador of Assembly Packard as a legislative assembly with leadership. I'm aware that the actions of these honorable members and colleagues of the House who have been on suspension is a cross violation of the Constitution, which provides that the member of this State House of Assembly shall only defect to another party, other than the party on whose platform they were elected to the House. We are there in the vision of crisis. The House having deliberated formally on the motion before it in line with our standing order and the Constitution of 1999, the Federal Nigeria I hereby declare the seats of the following honorable members of the River State House of Assembly Market. One. Honorable Queen Tony Williams, our East Coast 21. Two, Honorable John Tom Lobini Derima Abu Abu State Constituency. Honorable Major Jack Abu Toro Constituency 1. Honorable Lulu Azaya Wende Abu Toro. In the meantime, River State Governor Simon Alaye Fubara has presented the 2024 appropriation bill to four members of the State House of Assembly loyal to him. This comes a few minutes after the demolition of the House of Assembly complex started. The members of the House loyal to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Nguyen Sonwike, were not present at the sitting. Meanwhile, heavy machinery have been seen demolishing the assembly complex. Just yesterday, a River State High Court in Potakot ordered a factional speaker of the State House of Assembly, Edison Ehe, to preside over the activities of the legislative arm of the state pending the determination of a motion before it. It also stopped lawmakers loyal to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Ian Sombike, from using the assembly premises following the directive of the governor, Simonalaya Fubara, that the facility was under renovation. This new turn of event may not be unconnected to the recent defection of some PDP members to the APC and fear of a possible impeachment. To unpack this latest development, uh, we're being joined by Comrade Innocent Nyema Wiche, Chairman, Niger Delta Youth Movement, Falga Chapter. Thank you so much, Hi Comrade, for joining us. Thank you, sir. What welcome. are your thoughts on the political crisis currently unfolding in River State? Uh, thank you. My name is High Comrade Innocent Weche, Chairman Niger Data Youth Movement, Faga Chapter. Well, the question you're asking me about my thoughts on the political crisis in River State. Well, if I may say, uh, my view or my thoughts about the crisis is not helping us at all in the state. Because with this crisis, we will not have development in our states currently. So the crisis is really affecting us. We pray that our leaders should come together and make peace for the development of the uh, states to move forward. You know, um, there's every tendency that when there is crisis, in a particular place, in a family, in a community, in a state, that community or that family, that state will not move forward. Thank you. 
Uh, so let's look at um, the recent court order. How do you think it is impacting the power struggle uh, between the governor and the FCT minister? Well, uh, I would say about, uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a lawyer anyway. Of course. But the recent uh, court matter or cases that is going on between the governor and the former governor of River State, which is the present uh, FCT minister. Um, I'm not a lawyer. I will not say much about that. I don't want to talk what uh, I don't know the law is saying. <laughs> but whatever be the case, um, I think they should just settle it amicably. Thank you. But then I'd, I'd just like to find out before I let you go. Do you think that um, the actions by the state government, uh, most especially the demolition of the state um, house assembly, do you think it's within the confines of his uh, law or his prerogative to do that? Do you think he has the right to do that? Well, uh, as a governor of the state, um, I don't know what the session of the law is saying, whether he has the right or the power to demolish uh, that kind of uh, uh, gigantic uh, building, which is the state house of assembly. Uh, but I know that the government have the power to, to revoke a land for a good, uh, a good uh, development that will benefit the people of the states. Thank you, sir. All right, Innocent, uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you, sir.